Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I am talking about the Blue Moon palette today from ColourPop Cosmetics. You know they have struck again with another monochromatic palette. So I am here for it and I even got on my little my moon choker if you can see it. I, there you go. <laughs> okay, so my brows are filled in, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about some specific details with the palette, and then we're gonna go to some swatches, and then, you know, I'm gonna do a demo for you. So I think I might actually do like maybe one or two looks with this palette. So this is what the palette looks like, super cute. You know, as soon as they gave us, um, as soon as they gave us main squeeze, by the time main squeeze arrived to me, this was already out and already available to purchase. So you know ColourPop moves fast. They already got a new release out now with the, the blush sticks and highlight sticks. Those are cute. But I was like, I'll order that another time because let's face it, something else will be out next week. So if you are no stranger to the ColourPop uh, 9 Pan Palette series, you know that they retail for $12. So I actually decided to pick up the bundle that had two liners with it right here. And this is $18. Normally the liners uh, retail for $5.50 a piece. So buying it in this bundle that cost $18, uh, saved me $5, okay? Because otherwise normally it would have been $23. So saving the $5, not bad. This is super cute and I'm so glad they listened to their fans and their customer base and decided to do a blue palette because, you know, Mar is not a blue palette. It has very much golden and brown tones in there with about three pops of blue, okay? So this is all blue. And they were kind of teasing us with this and asking if, you know, what would you like to see next? I'm just taking a little sticker off the mirror. And this is what the palette looks like if you have not seen it already. And true to format of the ColourPop uh, nine pan palettes, you have this big, large mirror right here. And then you have the nine shades. And on the back, you have the shade names also. The shade names are also on the front of the palette. So you know ColourPop is cruelty free. They're made in the USA. And this palette, no, they're not vegan, but they are cruelty free and the packaging of course is recyclable. So if you want to pick up the palette by itself, it actually only costs $12. Super great, super affordable. I think this is going to be a great accent palette for people. People who want to try blue shadows but don't normally know how to start. Maybe want to pick up a couple singles because let's face it, at the rate of single shadows, they cost maybe like five, six, seven dollars according to the brand, depending on the brand. And even ColourPop shadows, single shadows cost at least maybe they're four dollars. So you know you get three uh, for twelve dollars or you can get nine for twelve dollars so i do think that these are a good buy especially if you're looking for these accent palettes to uh, complete your collection it's a good buy because like i said if you buy four of their sink three of their single shadows excuse me at four dollars a piece you're already at twelve dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch in my eyebrows are done i'm using the goof proof uh pencil today my benefit, I really like the pencil. I'm using the shade in 3.75. This is new. Usually, you know, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow definer. I <laughs> can't get it out. But um, I don't know. <laughs> when I try to hold the pencil on this head, it's like my hand doesn't want to conform to the right way. So the brow looks a little wonky. So I definitely had to clean up with concealer. So let's go ahead, jump in with the swatches and get going with the look. So I'm going to go with the first row, second row, and then third row, okay? Okay, for the first row, we have Lumi. This is a very pretty color. Oh my gosh. Look at the duochrome shift on this shade. And then I'm also very interested in this shade called Daba D. It's like a periwinkle blue. All about it. That shade is beautiful. And then we have a nice light baby blue called Moonlight. For the next row of the palette, we have Starry Eye. Super pretty. Oh my goodness, this is a gorgeous matte shade. Then we have Billie Jean. This looks gorgeous as well. Oh my goodness. Billie Jean, and then we have Tide Pool. Oh man, that is gorgeous as well. So for the last row, we have Mad About You. 
This is a super intense, beautiful, shimmery, royal blue matte. Oh, I mean, <laughs> what's a royal blue matte? Shimmery royal blue matte. I'm sorry, this is a shimmery royal blue. It is so pretty. The next shade we have is Fine China. And this is a definitely a true blue royal matte. Now that's the matte. These shades seem so pigmented. And then the next shade we have here is Clued In. And that one is definitely pigmented, but it didn't swatch very well. I'm going to swatch it one more time. Here is Clued In. And these are the swatches of the Blue Moon Palette. I'm excited to dip in. I think this is going to be beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the gel cream liners. Uh, ColourPop did change the packaging of the liner, so I really like it. Normally they were white and then the color of the liner was, um, at the tip it would be blue. But I really think these liners are so cute. And it just makes it look a lot more sleek and a little bit more expensive. So, like I said, the liners usually retail for um, $5.50 and I got this in the bundle. So this is DTLA, so I believe that stands for Downtown LA. And that is this liner, it is so creamy. I really love their liners, they're super affordable. And they get the job done. So that is Downtown LA. It is a very nice ink blue. Ugh. And then the next liner we have right here, which is silver, it is called Kicker. And that is so bright also, so there is Kicker. So here are all the swatches. We have the Blue Moon palette, and we have Kicker and Downtown LA. Okay, so let's get started. I have my eyelids primed with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And um, just as a warning, I did uh, grab my Proceed With Caution palette with Makeup Shayla. This is my ColourPop also, keeping it in the family. Because I'm gonna go ahead and dip in with Culture as a transition shade and to help blend out the shadows because let's face it, okay? We're not gonna put blue up to the brow bone, okay? And you have to be careful with blending out blue, especially blue mattes because you will end up looking Money, yeah, money, yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing to say, yeah, pretty much money, okay. So, I am picking up my Sephora Pro Crease brush right here, and this is the uh, number 10 brush. I still have been loving these brushes, even though I've been really loving my uh, Sonya G and Wayne Goss brushes, but, you know, can't forget about the old G's. So, going in, did not set that concealer, I'm going in, putting culture up there, it's a nice nude color on my shade, on my skin collection rather, I don't know what I just said, shade, Ooh, okay. On me, it is very neutral, okay? So that's why I figure we can go ahead and use it to help just give the shadow something to blend into. And I know I'll probably have to dip in just a little bit with it um, once we come to finishing this look, okay? So. I'm very excited to play with this Blue Moon palette. If you are no stranger to my channel, I have done several blue looks on here. Blues, greens, and purples are like some of my favorite color shadows to wear. And then I guess you could count red, but to me that's almost a neutral depending on the shade of the red, okay? So, I am going to go in with, let me see. I am dying to play with the shade <laughs> Daba D right here and then I don't know I think I'm gonna go in with Clued In and maybe Billie Jean yeah yeah I think I'm gonna do that okay so taking that same Sephora Pro number 10 brush okay I'm just gonna pick up a little of Daba D and this is pigmented it has this shade has fallout. I just kind of blew it away, but this shade has fallout. I'm going to tap off some of the excess right there, and I'm going to more so stamp and then blend out, okay? And I'm going to stomp, then blend out. So we get a nice, smooth, 
not so patchy application of the shadows. Then I'm lightly going to buff out the edges. So like I said, it's blue. This can go left very quickly. And I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit further into the crease. And lightly feathering out the edges right there. And then I will clean up my blending as normal. This color is really pretty. And now that I have my base part blended in, I'm just gonna kinda lightly tap over that. Just so the pigment is more so seen the actual true color of the shade. And I'm using very light strokes. Because if you don't go by this method, I can see a lot of people being like, this palette sucks. Because blue, blue mattes are, they're a beast to work with, okay? I think a lot of people are used to using blue shimmers, but blue mattes can be a beast. So, I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm happy with how it looks. Going in with my Sephora Pro Magnetic Brush, and this is the crease brush right here. Love this brush for the outer V. Taking the shade, clued in this deep navy. And I'm just picking it up on the end of the brush. I'm just gonna tap away a little bit of the excess. And I'm just stamping this right on that outer V. And this shade will be very pretty as a, um, like a blue smoky eye. Like as the main shade of it. And I am bringing this in quite a bit, okay? I'm just stamping. I haven't really blended. I am like stamping and like stamp and then flick. Stamp and flick. Just to spread the color. These are not colors that you do like this. You know, a small shadow brush. This is from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to go in with the shade uh, called Starry Eyed right here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. My brush so bright. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner and I'm just patting it in just patting it like so this shade is beautiful and I'm gonna take it over into that little blank space that we have in the crease and I'm literally just patting And I'm pretty happy with that pigmentation in inner corner, but I just want to go ahead and just build it up just a tiny bit more right in there. Now I'm going ahead with my favorite little Tarte Synthetic Brush. I love this for my shimmer shadows, as you guys know. And you, you could take any brush that does the trick. But I'm going to go in with the shade Billie Jean. Billie Jean is not my love. Ooh. Okay. That's enough of me singing. And I'm just going to tap this in. Ooh, that is pretty. This is not even wet, guys. You know, ColourPop has really stepped their game up with their shadows. When they first came out with single shadows, I was like, mm, I know them. Now I'm like, yes, give it to me. It's so great and affordable. Kind of overlapping it with that outer V corner that is that shade clued in just buffing it out on the edges so it's nothing harsh right there and then I'm lightly patting it over into the inner corners of my eyes now going back in with just a little bit more to intensify now, wiping that brush off, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Lumi. And I'm going to pat that right there, that 
oh man Un over that color starry eyed that is beautiful that could be a look within itself it almost changes it into a like a lighter shade of tide pool so cute okay i'm just wiping my brush off again so i don't cross contaminate when i jump back into lumi since i patted it over that other color because this is a lighter shade so i don't want it to be you know and I'm not bringing it all the way over because I still want that starry eye to shape it to stay right there. And I'm just going to slightly blend it in to the color Billy Jean. Going in with my MAC 224 brush, I am going to do some fine tune blending. And I'm just going to lightly feather out the edges right here on the side. Just to make sure that we are all buffed and looking polished. And okay, my brush shed it. Going back with just a little bit more of the shade culture from Proceed with Caution. Yes, this, yeah, we'll proceed with caution. This shade was also in the Perception palette, but you can basically take any shade that's your skin complexion just to help buff out the edges. Why is my brush shedding? I've had this brush for like over 10 years, probably a good 17 years now, so don't judge it. Like I said, it's from a um, a holiday set, so, oh man, okay, this is pretty. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it came out so well. I love it, and these shadows perform excellent okay so i uh finalized by putting on some lashes doing some liner got a little wonky on this side but mm, you know stuff happens anyway and then in my waterline i went ahead and put the dtla liner in my waterline and i think it paired really well and all the rest of my makeup details will be down below so i'm loving this first look it's very bold it's very blue so let's go ahead and jump into the second Okay, so let's go ahead with the second look. I have reprimed my eyes using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch again. And so I really want to show with the second look how to like do a more maybe wearable look. And I don't want to really say wearable, but maybe a look that a lot of people feel more comfortable with as far as wearing color. And so I did pull out my... Um, what is this the yes please palette by ColourPop? only because you know it has so many warm shades in there warm transition shades and i just want to give people options so they can see how to use this palette who might be very scared of the blue mattes but interested in other shimmers and just to give them some ideas on how to play with this so we're not going to use like all mattes from the shade but you know blue mattes can be very intimidating but like i said i do think the palette is still a good value so going in with the um color pop palette first this is the yes please and it's so many warm shades you don't have this palette you know you can pull out any of your warm shades i'm sure everybody has a pretty decent amount of warm transition shades at this point in the game so going in with the shade chauffeur right here okay going in with the sephora pro 10 with that uh shade chauffeur starting it as my first transition shade Buffing this in the crease. Going back and forth using windshield wiper motions. Whopper? Using windshield wiper motions. Yeah, just getting that color down there. Wiping off my brush. I always wipe my brush off in a little face rag that I have here dedicated to makeup. I wash it once a week. And I'm going to now go ahead and warm up the crease just a little bit more going in with this shade that's called Louie right here using that same brush just tapping off the excess and just going down and like I said you can use like whatever transition tones that you definitely like that are warm that complements your complexion that are your favorite tones I just pulled out this palette because I knew it has several warm transition tones in it and to keep it in the color pop family. And does everybody remember when this palette came out? The yes please, this is just a side note. This is like the palette that started everything with color pop. 
it's like, yes, okay, singles, okay, cool, but palettes, you know, that speaks to people. Okay, I think we are looking in good shape. I'm putting this down for the moment. Maybe we'll go back into it, I don't know. But, going back into the star of the show, Blue Moon, but we're gonna take Fine China, and I just wiped my brush off in my rag. Going in with Fine China right here. Be careful, these shades are they're a little, they're powdery, they're a little pigment, they're pigmented and a little dusty, okay? Stamping that on the inner corner. Outer corner, sorry, that's the outer. Oh yeah, I'm glad we changed it up, yep. Because some of these blues in here, this palette is messy. Some of these blues are here in cool tone and some of these are warm, so you're a little bit warmer. So they do go work with the warm tone. And I think everybody pretty much feels comfortable with a warm tone crease for the most part. Okay, so we should be looking like this at this particular point. Going in with that Tarte Synthetic Shader Brush. Going in with the shade Tide Pool. This is such a pretty color. This palette is, woo. These mattes, they're pigmented, but they're dusty. But as long as you mark, tap off your brush, you won't have any fallout, because I don't have any fallout. And I didn't in the other look. The only color that gave me a little fallout was Billie Jean, but that is such a soft metallic shade. Oh my gosh, this is like giving me vacation vibes. Ooh. Yep, it looks like a tide pool. It looks like where I would like to be right now in an ocean. Bringing that up so those colors meet. Don't want to color up those orangey shades. And I'm just patting. I haven't even wet the shade. That's pretty much insane. The payoff. I just want to know how do they do it. Can I come out to the lab, ColourPop? I just, I just want to see. I just, I just want to see. Going in with Lumi right here. Popping that in the inner. <laughs> what is the inner? <laughs> Popping that in the inner corner. just kind of building that up and what's so great about this dual chrome shade is that it just kind of brightens up whatever shade that you're putting next to it this is what we are looking like so far it is looking beautiful going in with that 224 matte brush because you know we got the blend honey can't leave these corners harsh starting with the outer corner just gonna soften up those edges Soften up that transition into the crease. Gently dragging, infusing those shades over together, okay? So I do not want to muddy up the crease and I still want that orange to show. Look, it's gorgeous. And now, because of the way my eyes are shaped, I prefer to bring my lid colors up here because it emulates like a cut crease. So I'm just gonna go back in and I blend it I'm not going to cover up those shades, but I just want to bring, go back in with Tide Pool using that same brush. And I'm going to just lightly put it up there where it folds. That way it kind of gives the illusion that my lids are a little bit larger and you don't see so much as my fold or my hood and eye. Because I have a pretty decent big eye shape or I real estate as you say for shadow but you know it's all about placement with colors so I rather make my lid look a little bit larger that way you don't see so much of the crease and my eyes look more aware awake and open see it's a small difference but it makes all the difference 
And I do have a, just a tiny bit of fallout now that I guess because I blended just right there, but nothing too serious. Okay, I'm going to put on some liner and lashes and be right back. So I'm back and this is the second look and I love it. it this blue is giving me all the feels. It's making me feel like I need to be on a tropical vacation. Like Tide Pool is just the best name for this blue ever. So I just really wanted to show how you could do like more of a wearable look or more of a just like toned down but bright look, you know, just to kind of get out of your comfort zone and just to show the versatility of the palette and just how to use it as an accent palette in your collection. Because like I said, um, just kind of jumping into my final thoughts. Like I said, you know, the ColourPop Single Shadows, they retail for um, $4 if you do not get the little small compact that they can come in or if not they're $5 so already if you buy three you're at $12 when you can get this nine pan shade and so even though I did dip into the yes please palette I did um, use three shades so just going back and picking up the palette remember I did use the shade Fine China for the outer V and then I use Tide Pool and then my inner corner highlight I use Lumi. I think Lumi is just such a beautiful color. Actually all the colors are here are gorgeous. They're super pigmented and I am loving this palette. You know Colourpop strikes again. Uh, the palette is a little powdery. I, it, it's powdery but that's kind of to be expected with blue shadows when you're having a lot of pigment. I didn't really have any fallout. So I think that's great. Um, I basically used uh, all the shades except for, I did not use Mad About You and I did not use Moonlight. So just in these two looks, I have hit uh, all nine shades. And I just really love a nine pan palette. I, like I said before, I feel like nine pans, nine, nine pan or nine shades is like the perfect small type of palette. Five, I'm like, eh. Six, I'm like, eh. I feel like it's a little too, condense sometimes of the variety of looks you can get but nine I feel like you could just kind of go everywhere with nine so I think that's like my perfect small pan palette um, size but these shimmers are so foil you do not need to wet them I did not play with this one I love how Lumi just kind of takes on the color of whatever color you're gonna put next to it it's such a beautiful dual chrome white blue flip okay uh, like when I laid it over the the shade starry eyes it kind of made it turn very bright turquoise and then just having it next to already this blue this aquamarine not turquoise but this shade right here the shade is actually a lot brighter on my eye than i anticipated it to be that was going to be more aquamarine but it's a very very true electric blue okay this lash is super wonky forgive me but um I just think that these two pair so nice together. I love this periwinkle tone blue and then this fine china. It's so hard to just get a blue matte that is royal blue and then the navy blue alone right there. So it's worth it. So I think that if you're looking for just an accent palette and dipping in with blues, uh, a navy blue is so hard to find as a single shadow or it just basically in palettes as it is. So right there, I think that that is worth it. These two colors, fine china and the navy blue and then this tide and the billy jean that silvery blue color is gorgeous and I'm mad about you and then the Lumi. so i'm really feeling this palette i think it's a great steal great buy if you're looking for an all blue palette i think it's very very blue and i'm just gonna hold up mar so you can see the difference so this is the mar palette that came out last year and so this is why we were all like um, Colourpop, please give us a blue monochromatic palette because this is not blue. So you only have the three shades. You do have the shade right here that's called El Rey, and then you have the shade Gridlock, and then you got My Way right here, but everything else is very brown. Your transitions are raised of brown. But right here, they're serving us with all the blue mattes, and it's just, it's all blue. I love it. I think it's a really cute palette. And I just, like I said, I just really wanted to do like two looks, show you how you can use the palette as a complete palette, and then show how you can just use it as an accent palette for your collection, because sometimes, you might be able to do a blue eye, but you're like, mm, where I'm going might not qualify for the 
whole shebang of all blue eye. But then this, or maybe you're just intimidated by having those particular colors in the crease. But this right here, you can just take any type of warm neutral transition shade that you prefer and pop it in the crease and then use these shades as an accent. And then you have your inner corner and then you have a nice matte to kind of smoke out the look. So you're getting the blue feel, but you're not all the way there with it. So of course, I love these palettes. Um, let's talk about the liners real quick. The liners are great. I don't know what happened with my silver one. I swatched it for you guys and it was fine. I got ready to open it because I did like put it down on the bottom of my waterline and, and it, it won't turn. It, it broke. It broke. So I literally guys just kind of like took whatever little part was peeking up. So I'm going to reach out to ColourPop customer service, see if they can send me a new one because I literally just got it and I haven't even had a chance to even use it and it broke on me so not cool um i think that is an issue with the, the the eyeliners versus the lip liners the lip liners you don't usually have that issue with it but overall i'm loving this palette so let me know what you guys think about the two looks i hope you guys enjoyed it and um you know i have another video for you very very soon so make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment because you know I'm going to respond back. So I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. I haven't done a chair dance in a minute. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Bye.